So ASICS released this crazy 3D printed ActiBreeze slide right here. And this thing has been insane. Honestly, one of the craziest, squishiest slides that you can get on the market. I've done a lot of reviews uh, with slides on the channel. And this is definitely uh, the softest out of everything that I've tried on, which is wild because again, it's 3D printed. However, now we have an updated version of that slide and I wanted to show you guys uh, this pair. Shout out to some dudes over on Twitter for actually mentioning these slides to me because I honestly didn't even know that they came up. But I went ahead and bought a pair of them as soon as I saw them because I was like, wait a minute, this, this is crazy. So it's literally like the same 3D printed material in a casing of the slide and it actually is removable. So you do have like a drop in uh, insole, midsole on these slides. So this is the ASICS ActiBreeze hybrid sandal for stability it says. And it's, it's a very interesting looking slide and I kind of like the concept. There's a couple things I really like about it. There's a couple cons I would mention also as uh, we get into this video. So if you guys like this video, drop a like on the video, subscribe. And then if you guys do want to buy a pair of these, I will link them in the description. As a point of this video, there's two different colorways. They are available right now on ASICS website. So kind of crazy because these ones uh, popped up and like I got them on a restock. Then when they came back in stock, once again, I posted them and some people got them, but ever since then, I've never seen them in stock. So interesting to see these available. I don't think a lot of people know, but also the price point is kind of crazy because they're $80 at retail, which is pretty expensive. It does come with this little note, however, just for those people that need something like this. It says, due to material structure of this sandal, objects such as tree branches and gravel may come into contact with your foot. Be careful to avoid walking on uneven spaces, trains, and stepping on debris. Kind of an interesting disclaimer because it's like you're walking around, so it's like, what do you expect? I do feel like they kind of avoided that uh, with the newer version uh, because you do have basically like an outsole traction on here versus the other ones that are literally just all 4D printed material and that's it on this one. I was gonna actually do an updated video on these after wearing them a bunch because I actually wore these in Mexico uh, on vacations exclusively. This is the only slides I bought. And there's a couple things I really, really like about them, but there's also a couple things that are a little bit off. One of the issues, gravel and sand actually getting stuck in the midsole, as it mentioned, it definitely was a thing. It definitely was something that was kind of a pain, just big rocks getting stuck. But overall, it's still a really comfortable, squishy uh, pair. This is the updated version though. It's very interesting. You look at the mapping comparison to the other one and it looks very similar, but also a, a little bit different. So the mapping on the bottom is a little bit more reinforced in some areas uh, than in others. And I think that was a strategic move on their end. So you can see right here, has a little bit more of a solid patch as well as on the forefoot of the 3D printed materials. The bottom has this lattice design that's basically all the same. And then you do have some little sections right here that stick out, which adds as a, like a little gripper to the sides of the slides and really allows it to stay into place. Kind of like a Lego piece as it holds it together. Now I did notice after wearing these a couple of days that it is a little bit wobbly, a little squeaky here and there as you're walking around. Not anything too crazy, but I'm wondering over time if it's something that would become an issue because it's an encased pair of shoes. Obviously when you have a pair of slides or shoes and you have a midsole and then you have an upper and then an outsole it's usually all stuck together it's not usually removable like this and anytime you do have something like this there is some room for a little extra squeaking and creaking as you're walking around overall it was a really good experience on feed but it's just something uh, to note also while we're kind of on the negatives of the slides something that i noticed is the overall feel on top of your foot and this is the same problem that i had with these uh, from wearing them extensively in Mexico without any socks. When you're wearing these directly on foot, it is kind of like a, a little bit of an intrusive feeling. It's very squishy, but you can feel the little nibs on the bottom of your foot. It does feel a little bit rough when you're walking around extensively. So something that I noticed on both of them, obviously when you wear socks, it's not as big of a deal. So throwing that out there, but just as an overview of the slide, I think it looks really dope. I love the side vents right here. It has the 4D printed materials on the sides. And then obviously the top down look of all the 3D printed material looks really, really good. Also, I like that it's kind of like a matte black finish uh, for the casing and the upper and the strap over the top with a little bit of a wave on it. It has a very nice symmetrical sleek look to the slides, making it one of the best looking slides on the market in my opinion. The overall comfort of these things are pretty excellent as well. You walk around and it's very squishy for sure, like on the midsole. And then there's also the added stability uh, to these slides. By encasing it in this rubber compound, it's actually really nice and smart and it definitely makes it more structured than uh, this version. This one is again, crazy, crazy soft and squishy. Uh, but it's also like almost too squishy because you're walking around and you're like, this has so much flex. It doesn't feel as safe, I guess, walking around long distances and stuff. So this definitely is a better option than this if you're looking for something that's more well-rounded. If you want relaxed to the max, and this is like still king in my opinion. Interestingly enough, the sizing of both of these is where things is a little bit inconsistent. Like I got larges on both of them. 
The large here fits basically like a men's 11. It's just insanely huge on me. This one, I got a large and it actually fits right. So it is a little bit big, but not comparison to something like this. This one was just massive. I do like it a little bit bigger because obviously I can wear socks, but even at that, it's still like a size too big. I do like that they made it basically like an updated version of the previous. And even that design across the strap on the 3D printed one uh, versus the sculpted one that they did right here in this foam. Like I like that they made it very much the same, just a little bit sleeker, like I said. Now overall, how is this comparison to other things on the market? Well, it's an interesting one because it's definitely comfortable. It's definitely soft. There's some stability aspects to it. It's not as soft and squishy as it's uh, older brother over here, but it is really good and it feels really nice. And the fact that they actually mentioned stability in the title of the product lets you know that obviously this is going to be more stable when you're walking around, not as soft and squishy. So I do like that they did point that out as you are like buying the product so you know kind of what you're expecting. But it is pretty soft on the midsole. I'd say direct comparison to the Crocs Echo Slides. These things are softer and squishier. They're more wide foot friendly. Overall, just better experience on my foot for $20 less. I think these are like 55 or 60 bucks. Uh, but the drop-in midsole is just insanely soft. Comparison to this one, this one's actually softer on feet than this one. But the Echo Slide's crazy soft on feet and the drop-in midsole being fixed to the bottom of the uh, shoe here, I think is a better way to do the dual density kind of foam. However, on the active breeze, I get why they did that because it makes it pretty cool looking and the fact that you can just pull it out is kind of a fun little uh, Easter egg on a shoe. So I definitely recommend the Echo Slides as an alternative. I'll link them in the description of this video as well. But the other two that I would recommend, the Hoka Recovery 3s, I absolutely love these. They're very sleek looking as well. Kind of similar, just differently sleek. Really, really nice looking slide, very comfortable as well. And then also uh, the other one that I always like to throw in the mix, it's very similar as well because it has a cloud foam on the midsole and then an encased rubber outsole. And that is the Adidas Alpha Bounce slides over here. And these things are uh, really nice and they have an adjustable strap as well. They are a little bit more narrow. In this new day and age of like crazy wide slides, this is a little bit narrower in comparison to the rest of the competition now, but overall comfort of these are still really, really good. And all in all, the Activerese slides, I think look really cool. I think that they are very expensive at $180. I think that if you're wanting something different than a Yeezy slide, but you want something that's a head turner, this one is definitely something that people are gonna be like, whoa, what are those? Like you're taking these off at the pool, people are gonna be like, what? And the heck are those slides? Those are wild looking. And I feel like they did a good job updating the original one, even though this original one's still super, super crazy. And they fixed some of the problems on the new one uh, with the sizing, but I still do feel like you could get some debris, especially if you're in the sandy beach. Some debris is gonna come through here. You're just gonna have to take it out and just work all the little rocks out, which I've had to do a number of times uh, in these guys in Mexico. But I'll leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the new Active Breeze slide stabilities? If you guys would like to buy a pair of these again, uh, check the links in the description. Appreciate it if you guys do that. And hopefully this has been an informative video to you guys. I do still have a top 10 video that I'm planning on doing soon. I know I've been wanting to do this for months now, but since uh, the last time I did a like uh, tier list, like I've gotten probably eight more pairs just to, to compare and, and see. So I'm working on it. Uh, it's almost there, especially I think this is the last of the additions to the, the collection. And for those that didn't notice, this is the Alpha Bounce 2. So that was the other one that I was gonna do is there's a V1 and V2 version of these. And I wanted to do a comparison video uh, between these. If you guys wanna see that video though, drop a comment or something in the comment section. Or if there's any specific combination of slides that you wanna see a direct comparison to, because you guys have seen, I have quite a few of them now uh, that I reviewed on the channel. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, have a good rest of the day and hopefully see you back for some more videos, All right? Peace guys.